One of the most common procedures in surgery is about to get an upgrade. New laser technology is being tested for closing wounds. It took, could take the place of the old needle and thread. Doctors say laser welding could make surgery faster and recovery faster and safer. And our next guest is an internal medicine physician, Dr. Carrie Peterson. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. The traditional method, obviously, is stitching. What are the problems with this? Well, problems with suturing is that they're very technique dependent and it can create significant scarring. And also, you're not creating a watertight seal, so there's a higher risk of infection than in this new potential technique of laser welding. Now, the laser welding has actually been experimented with for a while, but there were problems with that as well. But those problems have now been overcome? That's right. Currently available laser uh, welding of wounds has been difficult because it's also very user dependent. The surgeon needs to have the perfect temperature of tissue such that it doesn't overheat and burn the tissue or underheat and not create a tight seal. Newly available lasers, which were developed by a Dr. Katzier out of the Tel Aviv University, have created a laser that delivers pinpoint precision to the wound and then from the wound gives an infrared sensor feedback as to the temperature of the tissue. So you, it allows you to maintain an ideal temperature range such that you don't overheat the wound and cause burning of the tissue, which has been a problem. How intensive is the training in this new procedure and how soon until it becomes more mainstream? Right. Right now, it has only been studied in 10 people in Israel, and it's going to be coming to the United States and being tested for hernia repair, so it is not currently available. Thus, physicians aren't being trained on it yet. I would assume that if it does become more common, uh, it would be more expensive than the traditional method, and therefore, are insurance companies possibly going to be reluctant to cover it? I would imagine that will be a problem, but it really does have some, some important applications that current sutures do not allow you to do, such as utilizing it on very fragile tissues such as nerves and delicate vessels. So it really does have a place uh, in, in surgery. All right, Dr. Carrie Peterson, thank you. Thank you.